Hi guys, and welcome back to another quick inform video. So today I'm talking about unlocking policies with prepaid carriers and why it's such a long time. Um, and I'm making this video just basically in response to Metro PCS. I know I really don't make videos on it, but I follow other YouTubers that make videos on Metro PCS and Cricket and all that stuff. And before Metro PCS used to do, I think you had to wait three months of active service with them. So as long as you had three months paid with them, you can unlock your phone if you know you're like okay well I don't want Metro PCS anymore I want to unlock my phone boom you can unlock it after three months recently they changed it to 180 you have to wait 180 days which is basically six months uh, to even try to unlock your phone um, which you know let's say this is why I'm making this video so I can kind of explain why companies do this uh, Cricket Wireless they do six months Boost Mobile does a year and like I said, most companies you have to have active service. Boost you have to have active service for a whole year. Uh, Cricket and Metro, I, I don't know much of it, but I'm pretty sure you have to have an active service with them as well. Like I said, Metro's probably unlocking policy was the best. Three months, guys. Even though Metro PCS service sucks in most areas or anything like that, um, you know, you can get a phone dirt cheap and then unlock it three months later, you know. And that's why I'm going with this. Metro PCS was probably losing a lot of money, guys. Boost Mobile was pretty smart about it. They're like, hey, a year and then you're going to lock the phone, you know. Uh, Cricket Wireless, six months is pretty decent, too. Like I said, out of all the prepaids, Metro was really killing it with three months. But I'm pretty sure they were losing a lot of money. And let me tell you why. If Metro PCS is going to tell you, hey, port your number over and we're going to give you, I don't know, an iPhone 6 or an iPhone SE for free. And then three months later, you just pay three months of service. Boom, you unlock it, you take it to Cricket, you take it to Boost, you take it to T-Mobile or wherever, you know, it's unlocked. Especially iPhones. They just lost that. Let's say, I don't even know Metro PCS's plans. Um, let me just look it up real quick. Okay, so let's say, there you go, $30 period, or I don't know, whatever. Let's say you purchased three months of, you know, let's just say of the 30 month plan, right? That's $90, guys. You just got an iPhone SC, you ported your number over to Metro PCS, you got the $30 plan. Like I say, you paid for three months, you only paid $90 for service. After that, boom, you just got an iPhone SC for $30. Basically, what it is, because now. You're going to unlock it, take it to somewhere else, like say Cricket, Boost, or whoever, and activate it there. So basically, they're losing a lot of money, guys. Instead of them selling the iPhone, let's say, SE for $260 or $300, let's say. They can do it for $360 plus the $90 of service that you would get within the three months. Now you have to wait six months. So at least they're doubling their money if you do decide to leave within six months. Um, like I said, that's pretty smart. It's all about business, guys. You know, I'm pretty sure if Boost did it for three months, they'd be losing a lot of money too. And you know, companies, if they lose money, they're not gonna stay in business long. So that's why Cricket does six months, and finally Metro is following following the trend where it's going to be six months. So that's basically all it is, guys. You know, most people honestly, you know, if they're offering me, uh, I don't know. A, like, I think Cricket was doing a Samsung Galaxy S8 for $350 if I ported my number over to them. And I was thinking about it, honestly. I was like, wow, you know, I might go ahead and switch just for that. But after six months, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, switch back to my current carrier, unlock it, and boom, you know. I got that phone for basically pretty cheap, you know. Half the price, if that. I got 50% off for just getting service with them for six months or whatever, so... Boost is pretty harsh with it, you know, they're, like I said, they're not stupid, they want to save their money and make the most, stretch the money out the most, so they're going to get, like I said, a $50 plan, so you get the $50 plan, right, and you pay that for a whole year, that's $600, they just made $600 of service, you know, um, okay, you got uh, an iPhone SE for $50, or an iPhone 6, let's say, for $50, well, before you can even leave Booze and to unlock the phone, you have to be with them for a whole year. Let's say, like, say you're on a fifty dollar plan. Boom, six hundred dollars. They just got six hundred dollars from you. At least they recuperate some of that money, and it's not a big loss compared to oh ninety dollars. You got the phone for fifty bucks. Boom, you're out. 
They, they just lost money basically there because that's how they make their money back on those phones, guys. How do you think? You think, you know, if I bought a phone for $500, I'm going to sell it to you for $300. I just lost $200. I have to make that money back. And most companies make their money back with services. And let's say you add international or whatever. So, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully this video is not too long and I explain myself. You know, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on it. But basically, it's all about business, like I said. So, let me stop rambling. And, uh, yeah, so please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. Let me know. Hit that notification bell button so you get notified when I go live, give giveaways, do reviews, and all that cool stuff. Description below for a lot of cool features, offers, and all that stuff. So, Dragon Warfare, signing off. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the